रोज एक सवाल सवाल सॉल्व करने के बाद वो बेल आइकन पे क्लिक कर देना रोज सवाल का नोटिफिकेशन तुम्हें मेल बॉक्स में आ जाएगा ओके लेट स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन नो जॉन बोरोड टू लैख टेन थाउजेंड फ्रॉम अ बैंक एट एन इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑफ टेन परसेंट पर एन ओके कंपाउंडेड एनुअली सो इट्स अ कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट प्रॉब्लम द लोन वॉज रीपेड इन टू इक्वल इंस्टॉलमेंट्स द फर्स्ट वन आफ्टर वन ईयर एंड सेकेंड आफ्टर अनदर ईयर The first installment was the interest of one year plus part of the principal, while the second was the rest of the principal plus due interest thereon. Now, we have to understand that the installments will be equal in size. So, if the first installment is x rupees, the second installment is also x rupees, right? For the sake of simplicity, let's let's take the amount as two hundred and ten, because every time we write these many zeros, it will kill time. Okay, that's my tip to you. Take two hundred and ten and begin. Okay, so first year two hundred and ten is the amount. Ten percent interest is ten percent interest is twenty one. Right, is twenty one. First installment is X rupees. Okay, so this is the first year principal plus interest. Out of this X amount is paid. So for the next year, interest calculation will happen on two thirty one minus x. This one into one point one by one point one. This amount plus ten percent of this amount, which is the interest rate, should be equal to the next installment, which is x, right? Which is equal to the next installment. Now, if you just solve this, you can clearly see two thirty one into one point one. If you do This becomes two three one and two three one, so it becomes two five four one. So two fifty four point one is equal to two point one x. Therefore, x becomes two five four one divided by twenty one. Now twenty one one times twenty one two times is forty two and one times. So one twenty one is each time installment. Now you remember we have taken three three zeros less for the sake of calculation. So what's the first installment? One two one zero zero zero. One lakh twenty one thousand is the value of each installment in this case. I hope this is clear to you. A lot of people, uh, you know, so you will not get a a straightforward compound interest problem in CAT. This is how you will get a compound interest problem in CAT. I hope this is clear to you. Again, a very very simple question to the people who understand the basics of e installment and EMI. This question should not take more than twenty seconds. Okay, again a very interesting question, very very good common sensical uh, question. I hope you could follow this. With that, let's come to the end of this uh, session. I'll meet you in the next session. Till the time, keep practicing, keep happy, and keep learning. Alex.